cancer affects all of us. Mothers, daughters, husbands, wives, our children, our families, our friends, and our colleagues. I'm Phyllis Mora, and I'm taking steps against breast cancer. And I'm Julie Riley. We're the managers of Palmetto Health's Breast Centers on the Baptist and Richland campuses. We want you to consider walking or running in the Palmetto Health Foundation Walk for Life 5K Race for Life. We're proud of our breast centers, and you should be too. We were the first in the state to be fully accredited. We were the first to establish a nurse navigator program, a model that's now replicated across the state. We diagnose more breast cancers than any other hospital system in the Southeast. We rely on the Walk for Life 5K Race for Life funds to do all this. This year's walk and race will be held Saturday, October 1st in Finlay Park. Every penny will stay in our community at Palmetto Health Breast Center and allow us to provide the very best care to those families in our community who are facing a breast cancer diagnosis. Hello, my name is Elihia Colon. My wife, Caitlin Schmidt, died of breast cancer last year. She found out that she had breast cancer soon after the birth of her second child, Evan, in 2005. At the time, she was working as the OBGYN with Palmetto Health Richland, where she kept working until her recurrence of breast cancer in late 2006. She was very worried, but she was very honored and elated to be asked to be the feature survivor for the walk in 2007. She didn't know whether she was going to be able to fulfill those responsibilities. As it turned out, she thrived on the opportunity to share her story and to communicate how important it is to get those annual mammograms and those self-checks at home. Kaylin was very passionate about her role as a physician and her role as a mother. It is that passion that kept her going through the five years of her fight. But she died at 38. But because of that passion is that we continue the Walk for Life team that she started, the Cancer Crushers. Last year we have over 40 people, walkers and runners, run with us at Finley Park. This year we'll be back and stronger. It is a way for us to remember Caitlin and share her story, at the same time helping the Palmetto Health Foundation on its mission, helping someone's mother, sister, or daughter as they go through the terrible news of getting a cancer diagnosis. Your participation will help that mission. Please be there, Finley Park, October 1st. I hope to see you there. Thank you. When I turned 40, I decided to follow the recommendations and get a screening mammogram. Afterwards, I was called in for some additional views and an ultrasound. I met with a wonderful radiologist at Palmetto Health Breast Center at Richland. He recommended doing a biopsy. The doctor called me two days later to tell me I had breast cancer. My mom lived in New York and knew someone on the board of a world-famous cancer treatment hospital. She wanted me to come up there for consultation, surgery, even treatment. You know, I never really considered it because I felt like I could get excellent care here in Columbia. Through surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, I never looked back. April marked my 10-year cancerversary, and I'm thrilled to be the featured survivor for this year's Walk for Life and 5K Race for Life. I'm Lisa Helfer, and I hope you'll walk with me on October 1st. My name is Anthony Frederick, and I'm going to the eighth grade in, at Dent Middle School in the TLC program. When I was eight years old, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. What I did to get back was to do a lemonade stand so I can help my mom and give all their donations to Palmetto Health Foundation. The reason why I decided to do my lemonade stand so that nobody else would have to go through this dreaded disease my mom, my dad, my sister, and my friends decided to help out. This will be our fourth year doing the lemonade stand, and we have raised over $18,000 doing it. Thank you to all the doctors and nurses who took care of my mom. Four years ago, I was making final preparations to move my husband from Ohio to South Carolina. Everything we owned was packed in boxes, and we were waiting on the moving truck to arrive when my doctor called to tell me I had breast cancer. I could not believe it. I had to quickly shift gears and started asking lots of questions about my next steps. My Ohio physician told me Columbia had a great place for me, Palmetto Health Breast Center. 
From day one, my experience at Palmetto Health changed my life. From surgery and chemotherapy to more surgery, the nurse navigators and physicians helped me through a very difficult time. My life changed in other ways too. I realized I had another purpose in life, to raise awareness and money for the cure. That's when I formed the Walk for Life team, the Pink Posse, and began recruiting friends, family, and neighbors. This will be our fourth year. Last year, the Pink Posse was the top fundraising team. The best part is knowing the money will help others who are facing breast cancer in our community. I'm Bryn Miller. I'm healthy and I'm very blessed. Join me for Walk for Life on October 1st. Walk for Life is the biggest event of its kind in the Midlands. It's also a major way that we raise awareness about the importance of early detection. But we need your help. With Medicaid cuts looming, philanthropic support is more important than ever. Help us spread the word on October 1st that early detection saves lives. Registration is $25 if you register online. Visit palmettahealthfoundation.org for more information.